Well, we are here. We're at the final two episodes of season two. I am very excited. Shouts out to Omni, one of my mods who originally got me reacting to this. You're a savage. I'm just, I'll be honest, I am not so excited for season three, the animation from what I've been told, but I'm very excited for the content. I'm reading the manga if it doesn't win the poll after this. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Seven Deadly Sins Season 2, Episode 23. This one's called The Hero Rises. We know who that's going to be about. Um, but like I said in the pre intro, if you guys don't know, after Season 2, after these last couple episodes of the upload, there is going to be a poll replacing Seven Deadly Sins. I am going to have Seven Deadly Sins Season 3 reactions as an option on there. I've just been told by a lot of people not to watch that and that they don't want me to watch that. So it's just, I'm just going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to put some other things on there. I was just letting you know if you guys are like, why isn't he reacting to that? That is going to be an option for you there. If you're seeing this on YouTube, that means the poll is currently up. I am very actually, if you're seeing this on YouTube, that means it's already been decided. That's how it goes. But I'm very excited for this finale. A couple of things that I didn't necessarily catch last episode. This is some people in the comments really let me know. Um, I did catch the fact that Nero Basta, who was the goddess encompassing Denzel's body, uh, kind of admitted that it was the higher ups who gave her the orders, who gave all the goddesses the order to slaughter the demon children, the wives. The, like, it was not just the Ten Commandments who feel personally attacked. Like, they, like, the entire, when they say the entire demon race was exterminated they weren't lying like, i didn't yeah that's pretty some serious shit you know especially for the demons to feel this sort of vengeance you know it makes a lot of sense also the other thing to point out was that arc the same you the same move used by both elizabeth and nero basta one had zero effect on derriere and one ripped off her entire arm and nero basta is a goddess race lieutenant or whatever she said and it's elizabeth so that should have been last episode a major indication to me that Elizabeth is next level shit. But I, I guess I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I guess I guess that's right. I was like, oh, same move. That's cool. But that's amazing. Remember, with certain shows such as Seven Deadly Sins, I can't put the reaction on YouTube. Make sure to click that link in the description, then come back here for the review. And if you guys want early access or full link to this show and any of the other shows I'm watching as well, if you guys could consider supporting me on Patreon, I truly appreciate it. Check that out in the description. If Patreon's not really your thing, you guys could leave a leave a like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment. I appreciate you. You guys don't even know how much. I I say we hop into this though, Seven Deadly Sins, Season 2, Episode 23, The Hero Rises. I mean, we know if there's anybody in the world, he said it earlier, he doesn't truly want to kill the commandments because, uh, Technically, they're his family. They're his OGs, you know? So I understand why deep down, deep down, he really does not want to kill them. I understand that, truly. But I also get why he's saying this brings him the most pleasure. You killed Elizabeth? You killed Liz, my girl? Nah, it's a wrap. You think it's sweet? It's on sight. It's a wrap. And it's literally on sight right now. He's whooping his ass, which 60K power? That's some ass whooping potential right there. I won't lie to you. I am, uh... <laughs> Oh my god, that whole Dreyfus. I'm so glad. Because the first season has, what, 25, 24 episodes? Just like this one. This one's episode 23. We're at 50 episodes into a show, basically. And I finally got the resolution between Hendrix and Dreyfus. And I didn't even know Zeratras was going to be included in that. But the fact that he was made it oh so much better. That was beautiful, man. He said, guys, let me live. Let me die in peace. Come on, let me be. They like, passed on to my son, man. I'm always going to be watching over him. Oh, Grimoire, not Grimoire, Guild Thunder is one of the coolest guys. He's one of the, he's the first one you get introduced to and like in terms of like the super hard ass fucking holy knights and you think he's a bad guy, but then he's actually under watch the whole time. And he's a good guy and then he seems to be like a somewhat of a soft boy. This is exactly, you know, he looks up to Meliodas and his father. Oh man, that was beautiful. This episode was dope. Merlin, it like, if I have to fight Escanor for Merlin, I will do it. Straight up noon, highest peak of the sun, hottest it can be, midsummer day, me and Escanor, 1v1 for Merlin. I use my magical power. What would it be? Magical power, light skin. 
I don't know what it does, but it's called light skin. Oh. <laughs> this was a fantastic episode, though. I truly enjoyed it. I'm going to go watch this finale, though. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Hopefully, you guys want to see the what's coming up in the future. If you guys do, check out that Patreon down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. I appreciate y'all. I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out.